hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to add this marquee effect to your next year's website so here we can see we have this uh, list of testimonials scrolling to the left side and if i hover over this we can see that it stops and we can also see that this fades out over here and fades in from here on the right side and this is also responsive so if we decrease the width of the browser window this is how it looks on the smaller screens we don't have it auto scrolling we have to manually go ahead and scroll to the left and the right sides so this is what we're going to design in this video let's get started <laughs> Alright, so here I have created this folder called React Marquee and uh, so let's go ahead and start by creating a Next.js project. So let's tap NPX, create next app at latest and we'll just tap dot to create the project in the current directory. And let's press yes for TypeScript and yes lint and yes for Tailwind CSS and no for source directory, yes for the app router and yes for turbo pack and no for changing the import alias. Right now we can see that our Next.js project was created. So let's tap npm run dev to run the project. And let's open this link over here. And here we can see this is the default homepage of Next.js. So let's go back to our project. Let's go to the app directory. And here in the page.tsx file, we have this code and this is being displayed over here. So let's remove everything inside this and uh, let's also remove all these classes. And for now here, I'll just create an h1 and let's type stories and let's add some styles over here so let's tap class name let's tap text 8xl font semi bold and text to the center uppercase and uh, tracking tight so that we have less spacing between the characters i'll just give it a tracking of tighter so now if you go back to our website this is how it looks Let's go back to our globals.css file and let's remove all these CSS from here. I'll just keep the import of Tailwind CSS and now this is how it looks. Let's also add some styles to the container. So here let's type max width of 4xl and max auto to bring it to the center horizontally and padding top and bottom of 16. So this is how it looks. Right now for the marquee, we're going to use a library called React Fast Marquee. So you can just go to this website called reactfastmarquee.com and uh, this is the official website. You can go ahead and click on documentation. And here we have the code to install the library. So I'll just copy this. Let's go back and let's go to the terminal. I'll just create a new terminal and let's paste it over here and let's press enter. And with that, our library was installed. So now here we can go ahead and use the marquee. So for now, I just go ahead and simply type marquee and you can import it from react fast marquee and here if we just type test and now if you go back here we can see that we have this marquee displayed over here it goes from the right side to the left side and once it reaches the end it goes back to the right side so here we can see it goes back over here and uh, it loops so if you go back to the website here we can see that there are a lot of different options that we can add to the marquee you can go ahead and take a look at all of that. But for now, I'll just go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and create a simple design like this. So let's go back over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a const called testimonials. And let's set it equal to an array of objects. And in the object, we need to have the quote and the author. So I'll just go ahead and quickly copy and paste the content that I have over here. Right, so here I have copied and pasted all the testimonials that I had. And now we can simply go ahead and loop through this array and display all of them into our page. So let's go ahead and uh, create a container div for this. And uh, let's give it a padding top and bottom of eight. Now here inside the marquee, let's go ahead and loop through all the items inside the array. So let's go ahead and type curly braces testimonials dot map. And for each of the testimonials, I'll just call it testimonial. And let's create an arrow function. And uh, since we need to return it directly, I'll just create parenthesis and uh, let's return a div. Now in this div, we need to have the testimonial quote and the author. So for the quote, I'll just type block quote. And uh, here let's type testimonial dot quote. 
and for the author I'll just use the site tag and here let's type testimonial dot author so now if you go back to our website here we can see that all the testimonials and the authors are displayed over here now let's go ahead and style this so here for the outer div let's go ahead and add some classes so let's tap class name margin left and right of four and uh, let's tap padding of eight let's tap max width of md now these are all tailwind css classes and if you hover this we can see the actual css that is being applied over here now for this uh, you may need to install an extension called tailwind css you can just go to extensions and install it and uh, let's go ahead and add flex and now we need to bring the code and the site one below the other so let's type flex call let's add a gap of four let's type bg indigo 100 so this is the color let's also add shadow lg this is the box shadow so this is how it looks now here the shadow for the larger elements are not being displayed so let's go to the marquee and here let's add some classes so let's tap class name let's set a padding top and bottom of eight and now we can see that the shadow is being displayed over here and we also want to fade in from the right side and fade out in the left side so for that we will use a mask so let's tap mask l from 80 percent and mask right from 80 percent so this will fade out and fade in so this is how it looks now let's also add the functionality of pausing this when we hover over this so we can just add a simple attribute called pause on hover and now if you go back and if i hover over this we can see that it pauses right now let's also style these two elements so let's go back and here for the block code let's type class name text to excel and uh, for the site let's type class name bg indigo 200 width of fit padding left and right of 2 and uh, rounded for border radius and the text size to text sm so this is how it looks so everything is working all right now let's go ahead and make this responsive so for the responsiveness we don't need to use the marquee we will use a simple div so let's go to the mobile screen and uh, here we'll just go ahead and simply create a div and uh, for this div we we'll just type hidden for smaller screens and for medium or larger let's type block and here for this div let's type hidden when we have medium or larger screens and uh, let's add margin top and bottom of eight padding left and right of four right now let's go ahead and create a div and uh, in this let's map through the testimonials so let's copy all this code from here and uh, let's paste it right here and let's go ahead and change some classes so here for the div let's tap class name let's tap flex gap of four and overflow x of auto so now you can see that we are able to scroll to the left and the right now let's also remove the scroll bar that we see at the bottom so for that let's go ahead and uh, add some classes i'll just type ms overflow style none and uh, let's also type scroll bar width none and let's set the padding top and bottom of eight so now we cannot see the scroll bar right now let's style this div over here so here we have all these styles i'll just keep the shadow background and this flex classes let's remove the max width from here and uh, let's set it to width of 85 percent and we'll also type shrink zero so that we have the correct width for the elements and this is how it looks let's go back and here for the block code we can simply go ahead and type text lg for the text size and let's also add some padding so here let's add a padding of four and I think that's basically it with the mobile version. So everything is working all right. So if you go to the larger screens, we have this marquee. So that's basically how you can add a simple marquee to your Next.js website. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.